Hello and welcome back to Yakuza 0. So, it's more time to do sub-stories with Majima. And I believe we now know where every one of them is, potentially. I don't know. Let, let's see. Let's head out and see whether I can remember where they are uh, on this one. So, um, wrong one. Want to open our map. So, we have one here. Where are the other ones? So, we have this one here. So, we have to go back to do that one. We have a couple of postcard ones. Uh, we've written a new postcard, so we can go back in there. So it's one, two, uh, three, four, five for the postcards, because there are three postcard levels. Let's see what else we got. So we got five out of the post uh, with that so far. That leaves two left. So what's the last one? So, mystery caller. There we go, and there's our last one. Perfect. So this is the club. Mystery caller, that puts us at two. Um, this is the Obatarian, so that is at three, four, five, six. They're all postcards. And then seven is the last one, which I assume will unlock once we've done all the all the rest, exactly the same as with Kiryu. So, with that being said, uh, where do I take this nine millimeter pistol I bought? Um, let's go back in here and see whether it'll tell us. Okay. It doesn't say, but I assume we take it back to this phone, which is in the corner here. Let's see. So I think this was the run, one that rang earlier. There we go. Right, what's my next move? Hand over the 9mm automatic pistol. Fine, you can have the damn 9mm automatic. And there it is. Hey. It, hello. It's been a while. I brought the 9mm automatic, like you asked. Ah, excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Okay. Ah, that looks like a real 9mm automatic. You got eyes on me from someplace? Oops, well, who can say, really? Anyway, your turn to follow through. If there's no reward, I can take this right back where I got it. I was about to tell you. Don't be impatient. Page 315 of the phone book. Guess I just open it to that page. Oh, thanks. You use the phone book for the reward too, huh? Ain't it about time you showed your face? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I might meet with you in person, if you see the game through to the end. <sighs> the end? There's more? That's what I thought about ten episodes ago. Ba doom doom tsh. Haha, <laughs> correct. Please, play along a little longer, hmm? Ah. Oh, I didn't ask your name. Will you tell me? Uh. It's Majima. <laughs> well then, Majima-san, your next target is a Chinese broadsword. Too tricky. I could make it simpler. Uh. All I gotta do is bring back a Chinese broadsword, huh? Done. <laughs> I like your style, Majima-san. Nothing phases you. A very attractive quality. <laughs> I ain't a cob of corn, so don't bother buttering me up. Huh. Do I get the privilege of hearing your name? Nani? Me? Hmm, let me see. Mm. You can call me Simon. <sighs> Simon? Fake a name as I've ever heard. You're a real piece of work. Ah. Haha, <laughs> well, once you have the Chinese broadsword, bring it to the payphone again. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, we got to know a Simon the Mystery Man. So this is a friendship. Ooh, okay. So that means we finished this up story. So technically, if we we're doing only sub stories, then we're done. However, I also want to do the friendships. Because they seem to lead into, effectively, sub-stories just not listed. So, let's go get ourselves a Chinese broadsword, which, coincidentally, is right next to the Obatarian. I mean, it's just amazingly coincidental that that all worked out, right? Who could have planned it that way? I don't know. Anyway, uh, along here we go. And uh, we're going to the Tiger and Dragon, which should be just right about here. Perfect. Now, I don't know whether we have the recipe for the Chinese broadsword yet, which could be the slowdown point, but we'll see. Right. Um, buy equipment. 
There we go. Do I have swords? Uh, ah, I don't think I have a Chinese broadsword. Yes, that is a problem. Double checking. Definitely do not have a Chinese broadsword. Okay, equipment search. Let's see what we got. So, Chinese broadsword. Just gonna throw out here. The best place to find a Chinese broadsword? China. Right. Let's see. Old temple pole weapons. Uh, charming little dim sum restaurants cover for a shop with weapons on the menu. Obtainable types, Chinese broadsword. Perfect. I'm just seeing what we have chances for here. Lotus Clan broadsword. So you're actually too good as a weapons dealer. I think I want the political activist. Because they have the highest chance of getting the broadsword as a base. Yeah. Okay. Then I just want to increase the amount I'm sending in here. Oh, I should do it on this one. I can only send in this much. 60% chance. I need more money. Okay. Um, actually, you know what I should do? I should send it anyway, because it's going to be quick. I'm just saying, we actually have Chinese broadsword on this one as well. What's the chances of us getting it, though? It's actually higher as a base on this one. Okay. Could send a prince to go and get us it. 90% broadsword? 99% broadsword, low chance everything else. I'm actually going to go down to this one. I want to provide exactly the amount for the broadsword. There we go. Ah, it seems to knock all the others up at the same uh, point there. I don't want the double Chinese broadswords, I just want the broadsword. So we'll see whether we get it. It's 99% chance. Cool. So that'll be done in about two minutes, so let's go uh, see the Obatari. We may also need to uh, borrow some money from our um, rich friend over in Tokyo. We'll see. Um, but we might not. I think we might have just the, exactly the right amount of money to do this. So we'll see. Oh, she's there. Oh, with a friend? Huh? Help! Pervert! There's a pervert here! Huh? You old shitbag, who are you calling a pervert? <laughs> huh. You fell right into the Obatarian's trap. Oh? You dumb hag. Now you're really gonna get it. Ooh. She's gonna like us because we save her from the Yakuza. Whoa, now he's crossed the line. Eek. Nobody gets cute with the yak as a bitch. Suck on this. Eh? What? Who the fuck are you? The eye patch fella. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but that don't give you the right to pull a blade on a civilian. Huh? Huh? Hey, buddy, I know how you feel. I really do. I got accused of being a perv too. But it ain't worth it. Trust me. Let sleeping dogs lie. You're no match for the Obatarian. Hell, I ain't either. You trying to tell me what to do? You mosey up to me and tell me I'm no match for some old hag? You don't know shit, friend. The two of you can share a grave. Oh no, well, you're about to be, uh, destroyed, my friend. Oh, I didn't have enough heat to, to do the move I was wanting to do, so he ends up just getting kicked. Okay, cool. You, you ain't bad. Razor cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. Huh. Nah, nah. You're the bee's knees, eye patch fella. Bah, I ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. Kinda hate myself right now. Oh. oh well, on closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. Just like my husband when he was still kinda grabby. My heart is really pounding. Whoa, dial it down. You're creeping me out, lady. No need for any feminine wiles. Oh, but I've got to repay you to set things right. Bah, keep your candy, lady. I don't need the sugar high. Oh, I had something in mind much sweeter than candy. 
Oh. Come to Granny, you fine, handsome devil. What is that movement? I love it. Whoa! Jeez. Too strong. I can't hold her off. Ah! Ugh. <laughs> Pop the cork too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me, too. <laughs> Woohoo! Can a room, you two? Oh, please, don't tease. <sighs> the guy at the counter was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved with an Obatarian is misery. The toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter, and ain't a Yakuza. <laughs> it's the Osakan Obatarian. Oh, I guess our stuff is uh, done at the Dragon and Tiger. I forgot that they paged us. It, it, uh, I was like, what, what is it? What's happening? It's just a normal pager. Anyway, through here, and in we go. Hello. Hi. Walking among crowded stalls, the buyer loudly haggles with sellers. A group of men suddenly appeared. After putting a canvas sack over my head, they took me to the negotiations. Things get awkward, negotiation partner's mom steps in. Resounding success. Hey, I got the broadsword. And I got the, du uh, the double Chinese broadswords. Ooh, cool. Uh, let's get rid of them. Patriarch's bat. Ooh, apparently made on the orders of a famous Yakuza boss who liked baseball. This bat won't cause you to stagger when you hit walls. Mm, we shouldn't do that anyway, thanks to our things we've leveled up, but that's cool. And there's the broadsword that we're looking for. Right, um... We have a lot of Yoshiyuki, so I'll get rid of that. Right, although I am about to get rid of the broadsword anyway, so... Right, through here. I don't really use equipment as much as I should. Oh well, whatever. Uh, this way. And we'll do a run back down to the, uh, to the phone. Okay, we're almost there. I, I love the way that he still does the panting for like, I'm about to run out of breath. Even though you, you've got zero chance of that happening. Imagine if we started to run around like this, you know, the speed up, slow down trick. It would take us forever to get anywhere. Anyway, I suppose we would use the taxis. Yeah, probably. You're really going to fight me for this uh, full box? Well. There we go. Come on. Gotcha. I felt really good switching styles and then immediately, um... Yeah, sorry, I forgot I wasn't hear you, so I don't do that anymore. But switching styles to use a counter move, that felt cool. It'd be nice if that was more required. But, hey, there you go. I think Majima's one kind of implies that you should be switching styles, because he has another one of the bat, I just remembered. Where it's like, the bat um, doesn't move when you switch into it. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe the game thinks that you're when you're doing fights, you're going to switch between styles non-stop, like, in middle of combos. Hmm. Anyway. Here's the broadsword. There it is. Hey. Ah, hello. Good to hear from you. Got the Chinese broadsword you asked for. Ah, excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Ah, I see you found a genuine blade. Very good. You passed this round as well. Page 427 of the phone booth. Page 427. Got it. Okay. Fair enough. Some money. What's up next? Mm. Come on, Majima-san. Don't you want to savor your success a little first? 
Why? Do you get off pulling my strings? Not my style. Ha ha, suit yourself. How about you find me a tourmaline next? Think you can do that? Uh, bring your tourmaline. Piece of cake. I'll be back before your instant ramen's ready. Ha ha. Then once you have the tourmaline, bring it to the payphone again. Good luck. I think I have a tourmaline. I recognize the name. Uh, equipment? I might not have it on me, but I think I have it. Yeah, I definitely don't have it on me. Oh, I got it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll hand it over. Fine, you can have the damn tourmaline. Guess it counts if it's in your, um... In your item box as well. Hey. Ah, hello. It's been a while. I brought the tourmaline like you asked. Ah, excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Ah, that sure looks like a genuine tourmaline to me. Very good. You passed the test again. Page 637 of the phone book. Page 637. Got it. Hey, money. What's up next? No sense of accomplishment or anything, Majima-san. Hmm. I know this game ain't over yet. Get on with it. Well, that may be so, but I wish you'd enjoy yourself a bit more. How about you find me a Sakura Storm next? Would that be too difficult for you? A katana now. You got a fetish for deadly weapons? If that's all you want, I just bring it back here. Yes, once you get hold of a Sakura Storm, bring it to the payphone again. <laughs> Good luck. Well, I already have one, so I mean, I guess I'm just going to turn around. Fine, you can have the damn Sakura Storm. Hey. Hello there. Good timing, Majima-san. Good timing? What are you on about? I got your Sakura Storm, okay? Excellent. Leave it in the phone booth, please. Ah, there seems to be a real Sakura Storm. Very good. You pass the test again. Page 723 of the phone book. Page 732. Or 723. Got it. Hey, cool. Oh, what's up next? Well, next. Wait. Before that, allow me to apologize. Huh? Apologize? What for? Well, you see, at first I didn't expect you to make it this far in my little game. I underestimated you, Aishima-san. You're not the typical puffed-up blowhard I took you for. Forgive me. <sighs> not sure why you felt like you had to tell me that, but no harm done, I guess. Everyone makes mistakes. That's very big of you, Majima-san. You are a man of caliber. A shining example for all Japan. <laughs> now you're just being facetious. I have a favor to ask of you, Majima-san. You being... The man of such strong moral fiber that you are. A favor? Not a game this time? Mm. A good question, yes. Let's end our game by seeing whether you can carry out my favor. <laughs> it ends here, huh? So if I do this, I win? Yes, of course. I trust you'll do your best not to disappoint. Uh. Fine, fine. So what's this favor then? Well... I'm actually about to be killed, you see. I need you to save my life. And he? You got someone after you? How'd you end up in that kind of mess? I was dealing with several parties regarding the items you gathered. Unfortunately, one of them has betrayed me. They lured me into a trap and seem to have every intention of doing away with me. What are you doing jabbering then? Where are you calling from? Sotenbori footpath on the south side. What do you say? Will you come and save me? <laughs> this is a pretty serious game you're playing, you whack job. 
You're really gonna gamble your life from getting me to come? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, indeed. <sighs> I ain't a fan of how you roll, but I'm ready to put this game away for good. And I wanna see what you look like before your obnoxious ass bites the dust. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Majima-san. I'll be on the south side of Sotenbori footpath. If you don't hurry, it's curtains for me, so don't dawdle. Alright, go save him. I guess we could do that. <clears throat> now Nell's for it. Gotta go help Simon on the south side of Sotenbori footpath and end this game. Um, yeah, there we go. Cool. Just wanted to double check what Sotenbori footpath was. So I think we have to get there by going um, down the path on the right. Well, I mean, we could go on the one on the left, but it's a lot further. Right. Actually, there's a little bit in here we can get through, a little alleyway. Wait, we've never taken this alleyway. Wait, do I still have the thing on? Maybe I have taken this alleyway. I do still have card watcher on. Okay. I was like, there might be a card in here. Not that way. Oh, there we are. Okay, cool. Are the, those the guys who betrayed Simon? One of them could be Simon. Hey, what the hell are you looking at? We're trying to do business here. Get lost. Business, huh? Guess these clowns are connected to Simon after all. I ain't going nowhere. I'm looking for an associate around here. You got a death wish? You screw with us. You get screwed. I won't ask again. Get out of my sight. <laughs> huh. I've been screwing with tools like you my whole life. Is one of you Simon? Or know who he is? I came to help him out. Eh? Simon? How do you know that traitor? <laughs> to say what? He said you guys betrayed him. Shit. I don't know how you found us, but anyone working with Simon needs to die. Yate. Huh? I have no idea what the hell's going on here, but if you're coming at me, let's do this. Kill him! Oh, wow. I suppose we were trafficking in weapons. Should probably expect that somebody might want to kill us. Um. Okay. I get the feeling we're meant to do this quest a little earlier, huh? That motherfucking Simon still up to his old tricks, huh? Damn it. He's the guy you want dead, right? Tell me where he is. <laughs> ha! Sounds like Simon's got you fooled, too. He has a pawn taking orders, aren't you? Huh? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> He's out cold. Doesn't look like Simon's here. So I'm getting played, huh? Gotta get to the bottom of this. Maybe I'll find out more back at Simon's payphone. Okay. Interesting. So, who is Simon? That's the important question. And it wasn't a completely fake name. I mean, yes, it was a fake name, but it's not like he just made it up on the spot for us. He's used it before. So, hmm. They, like, it must be like his uh, criminal name, for lack of a better term. All right, enter the phone booth. Wonder what he's been up to. A call from Simon. Yeah? Ah, hello. Is that you, Majima-san? Huh? What's going on? I went to help you, but you pulled a disappearing act on me. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, sorry about that. It was all a lie, you see. You saying you set me up? Then who were those guys? I apologize for resorting to such trickery. I really do. But you did a terrific job. Everything ended up exactly how I hoped it would. <sighs> I think you owe me an explanation. The men you defeated were former colleagues of mine. From an organization I once belonged to. Former colleagues? Yes, I left that organization long ago. I couldn't stand the way they did things. Yeah. 
the deal they were about to carry out. If that deal went ahead, all of Sotenbori would be thrown into chaos. Thanks to your little rampage, the deal fell through. I really can't thank you enough. What kind of deal could cause that much? Nah, you know what, don't tell me, I don't want to know. <sighs> I gotta say, I'm none too happy about getting jerked around like a dog toy. Ha <laughs> ha uh, don't be bitter now. After all, the two of us saved Sotenbori together, didn't we? My face is known in those circles, so there wasn't much I could do openly. Thank heavens I had you to act as my proxy, Majima-san. You were a champ. <laughs> ah, so that gauntlet I ran for you was only to see if I'd be of any use to you, wasn't it? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You see right through me again, Majima-san. <laughs> ah, what a dick. Oh, don't brood. You finished the game, Majima-san. It's time for congratulations and fanfare. I went to a little extra trouble for your final reward. I hope you like it. What the hell does extra trouble mean? <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Well then, Majima-san, guess this is goodbye for now. Huh? Now just wait a damn minute. I have more to rant about here. Bastard. He hung up. What's this reward then? Don't see any money in the phone book this time. Huh? Hello? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting there, miss. Um, are you Majima-san? Oh, huh? uh, yeah, but how'd you know me? Simon Sama instructed me to come here and meet you. Uh, Simon did? You better tell me who you are. Please, Majima-san, let me work at your club. My club? You mean sunshine? Well, hang on just a minute, I don't know if... I'll do whatever you tell me. I don't want to get killed. Please let me work there. I'm too young to die. Killed? Alright, alright. Don't know what your circumstances are, but if it's that serious, you're hired. Oh... Uh, what the hell is up with this Simon dude? Yeah. You're recruited unknown? What? Okay. Well, let's save. Um. And then let's have a little review. So we finished that one. So we got three more to do. So this one is club. Postcard, postcard, postcard. That gives us four. And then we have one left, which we'll get at the end. All right. Well, we are done being outside the club. Okay. And it's time to head in. Head over to Kiryu. Do a little bit of that. Um, and then see how things are going. So. In here we go. Into this room. So we need to be Kiryu to make some money. Uh, although we should also... We should check this while we're here. Dulcie's on the air. As always, we kick off the show with shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Here's Dulce Kayamas. Dulce de Postcard. My postcard made the cut. Here is hoping he reads the one from Go uh, from Goro 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 Chan. Ah, it's Kazi Kun again! Oh no! We didn't make the air. Alright, time to write another story. Alright. Um The street performer. Yeah, the one who needed to go to the bathroom. It's a great story. Yeah, definitely. No. <laughs> Cool. Right. Over here, we'll do a change of character. Now, this doesn't actually count for uh, the radio, because we tried that already. But, um, yeah, we still need to do it for the pairs. 
I think we're about to hit 10 billion again. We just did again. Fantastic. This one we're going to upgrade. S rank is the final one. Hotel Diamond Palace is done. Raise all shops to S rank worth a single completion point, of course. One singular completion point for all of that work. Alright, send these all off again. Yes. I thought it was going to be so much smaller. My lord. And it even has the glasses in it. This is a little embarrassing. We've come a long way with this business, though. A small token of our success is totally fine. The quality of the gold is a nice touch. I'm glad I gave them detailed directions on its design. Pretty tasteful, if I say so myself. <gasps> oh. My. God. Gross! Where'd this tasteless statue come from? We do anything with her? It's just here. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. It's great. Okay. Let's switch back again. Yes. It's so tasteless. Right. Save it up. Now, there is something that I was going to look up between episodes, but I didn't. So I'm going to look it up now. It's whether there are any more people that we can recruit for the club. If there are not, then, well, it's time to get to clubbing. Okay, so I looked it up just then. Uh, there are no extra people to recruit for those two extra slots that we have. Which is kind of weird that they would have the slots at all. But there you have it. I'll show you what I mean again, just in case you've forgotten. So, the two slots which we had were... Um, let's close that down there. It was uh, these two slots. There is nobody you can recruit for those slots. They're just empty. There's just absolutely nothing. That's what I, I got when I looked it up, which seems a little odd that they would include those slots, but hey, whatever. Right, so we have to do customer service with mana, uh, and then we just do some host stuff. So, let's go. Customer service. All right, Mana, let's get a feel for where you're at. Hi. Is this the famous Sunshine Training? How exciting. <laughs> well, you're already Sultan Bori's number one hostess, so I kind of wonder how much I can teach you. <laughs> no, it's always useful to get another man's opinion on my work. I rarely get the opportunity before, got the opportunity before, so I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Mana-chan. Then we're going to talk like I'm your customer. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, hi, Gorokun. It's been a while. How have you been? Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Haha, <laughs> -ha, that's good. You haven't come by to see me lately. I missed you lots. Whoa, she's already in character. She's the real deal. <laughs> I guess I don't know you too well ma yet, Mana-chan. What do you say? Uh, um, what do you stay business with? Okay, the, that the start of that sentence completely threw me. What do you stay busy, uh, busy with when you're not working? I don't know why I thought that that. Yeah, okay. I guess I don't know you too well yet, Manachan. What do you stay busy with when you're not working? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yell's yeah, dramas are really trendy these days. You got a VCR man, Chan. Aren't those kind of pricey? So na no, just hun pat is chat. Ima wa ju ma yen kit no ma rin deo. Lokuka yo yaku te kino ga tsui te te, su koku bendi nanda. Ooh, okay. Um. We don't know her yet, but let's say gotta reward yourself. You know, uh, let, let's see how she reacts to that. Aww. That's a pretty big splurge, no? But with the way you're working, you gotta reward yourself sometimes, right? 
そうそう貯金も大事だけどたまにはパーッと使わないと人生一度きりだからね OK cool そうやな As the spirit, maybe I should follow your example and get a little reward for myself too, eh, Mana-chan? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, a condo? That's a bit much. Uh, no? Huh? What the? When did it become your condo? We were talking about me buying myself a reward. <laughs> okay. You're a little odd, mana, but that's okay. <sighs> You're good, mana chan. Too good. Uh, so, this TV drama you're into, what's it about? <laughs> Okay, I mean, that, fair enough. I don't see where the conflict's coming yet, but okay. I'm no drama expert, but this sounds like a pretty stereotypical setup. Oh. Uh-huh, I see, I see. Show moves fast or sounds like you. She... We didn't go with the flirting one on the first answer and it was correct. So we're going to say show moves fast. Wait a minute, she falls in love awful easy, doesn't... Don't she? Did you skip something? だってそうか。だそう。あ、ゲットアトール。そうか。だそう。あ、ゲットアトール。そうか。だそう。あ、ゲットアトール。そうか。だそう。あ、ゲットアトール。そうか。だそう。あ、ゲットアトール。そうか
X is just weird. Like, what? It, it's just uh, one odd thing to say. I sneeze a lot when it's uh, when there's a lot of pollen out. Ooh, can I watch? Like, what? No, we'll buy tissues. Well, don't worry. We'll buy plenty of tissues, so you don't have to worry about it at work. あ、本当僕ずっとしなんて持ち歩けないから助かるよ。ありがとう。花に優しいやつだと嬉しいな。なんかちょっとお高めの柔らかめのやつ。何回花を噛んでも花が痛くならないの。うん。I Okay, what do you say we call it there? Sure, right. So, that was a normal lesson. Okay. So we got level two, and it's time for us to go and open up. So, let's remove everybody here. We have a lot of very unhappy people, because last time we did the, um, uh, yeah, last time we did the, what's it called, mission. Uh, anyone who's maxed out, we're going to take out the Club Moon mission. That was it. Man, I can go in here. Yeah, anyone who's maxed out is going to sit out this one. Oh, we'll put in unknown. I kind of want to read her description, actually, when uh, we get to her. And Kozumi. Uh, Shizuka. Oh, we have Aranda as well, of course. The person we renamed. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can work here, but we're changing your name. Okay, uh, hostess list, is that it? We have a space right here. Who's this for? Yeah, we actually have a space which is missing. Interesting. Uh, it must be for, like, one of the ones that we've not got. It must be for that final mission. It must get you a, another person. Aranda. Erin Kuhn is smitten by her. Her skills might need work, but she... Her skills need work, but she might shine bright. And then unknown. Wait, oh, there she is, right. Introduced by Simon the Mystery Man, she's shrouded in mystery. All right, cool. Open for business, let's go. We're of course gonna go for Club Moon because it'll make us by far the most amount of money. Let's go. Uh, excuse me? Um, my Majima wasn't dressed in that? Well, I guess he put an effort in because, you know, He's running the club and everything. Just wealthy? Oh no, this one's mega rich. Okay. Um, you just want to talk. So let's put in. Yeah, Chiaka. It's okay. Another mega rich. Um, you're mostly happy with unknown. So we'll stick her in there for just now. Love? Uh, oh no. You're mostly unhappy with everyone. Well, let's try mana in here and see whether we can recover that one. Another mega rich? Okay, what have I got? That is ice. Wonderful. He's now happy. That's gonna help things a lot. Another one who wants love. Ah, uh, uh, let's go with Shizuka. I'm sorry, Shizuka, for throwing you to the wolves. Party. Um, I'm gonna go with Kyoko. Another person in here is mega rich. Um, cause me, you're gonna have to cope with that. Uh, Skull Girl. Guest left. Girl is a bit tired. Okay, wasn't great. Oh, you wanted Chiaka. Or, you want to Chica, sorry. I added an extra th syllable. Ladies' glass is fine. Right, when she's finished in the top left, we'll move her down. Um, right, putting Dolly there. Get her check. I'll just say thank you. Move her to bottom right. I would have said tried to extend it if we didn't have one that was requesting her. Right, she's now available. Nice. 
another check. We'll say thank you. Let's make some happy. Okay. Okay, Shizuka's okay here. Another love mega rich. Go with that. Uh, I'm now going to use RB. And let's get some. Uh, Hey, we got it on one of the ones which was unhappy. Fantastic. Get some sunshine fee for going here. I'll see if I can extend bottom right. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Anything else that we need to worry about? Don't think so. Oh, help. Uh, that's a guest last. Fantastic. Now we just chill. I can hit the thing again in a second, which will probably be worthwhile doing. Oh, I'll do it after this one checks out. Yeah. Um, i say thank you. And then Sunshine Fever immediately. Which now means that we have uh, Sunshine Fever on all of them and everyone is happy. Hopefully you're happy with mana here. And then we're good. We want Chica. Alright, we're going to put mana in there until Chica's available. Okay. Uh, we will praise the girl. Nice. Never spare spot. Check. Give the girl a reward, and then we're going to move Chica to bottom left. There we go. He becomes very happy. Stick mana in here again. Just basically trying to make whatever we can work there. Praise girl. Bottom right. Yeah, we're gonna put Kyoko in there. Let me just check. Okay, Dolly's a neutral, so we'll put her in. You want Chica? Well, I mean, there's only one of her, so mana. You're gonna stall again. Okay, we're almost there. Right. Um, praise girl. We're almost at the next Sunshine Fever point. Check. Um, praise girl. Okay. We're gonna have people who are neutral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this a second. And then just trigger that. Yeah, because I definitely wanted to hit top right. Cool. So now we can put people in here. You're going to be very unhappy. Okay. Not a lot I can do about that, really. Hopefully, um, we have somebody available soon. Um, apology gift. Trouble resolved. And he's happy. Okay. Apology gift. Okay, fine. This is okay. We'll get our check here. Give her a reward, because she's likely going to be uh, going out again for the middle one. Yep, again another person requesting Chica. Oh, we're going to get you to happy. Nice, we feel ice. Cool. Um, love wealthy? Okay. It's fine. Chica's about to finish on this one. So we can now say thank you. Then put her in the top middle one. Perfect. Right. Pretty much been the only person on for the whole day. We've just been jumping around all the tables. Alright, neutral C Zuko. We'll go with that. Okay. Here, uh, what is praise? Okay, this one. And say thank you. It puts him up to actually very, very happy as he leaves, which is good. Gonna get another sunshine fever right before the end. Fantastic. A little bit of extra money. Here, we'll go with that one. Right. 
Now I think we're sorted. Okay, not our best ever, but pretty good. Yeah, 73 uh, million. I'll take it. Unknown leveled up a lot. She leveled up to level 12 in that one. And Aranda didn't even go out once. Actually, no, she did. We oh, she we put her out, but she probably didn't make any money before we replaced her. Okay, Amana leveled up quite a few times as well. Nice. More fans. Good. Right, so now we can check whether our postcard thing triggers off of doing one of those, which it should do. Ah, it doesn't. Well, that's annoying. That is annoying. Uh, we'll do a save. Now, if I change character, Kiryu's should um, trigger off of that, because his is a purely time-based thing. Let's have a look. It does. Fantastic. And now we don't even need to upgrade it. It's just a matter of clicking the buttons on these. Well, and swapping over to the location. Yeah, we getting a reasonable amount of money with each one here. Right, remove spinning. Put spinning on. Put the gambling king on. Uh, swap. Uh, right, remove you. Uh, I'm actually gonna do something else here that I haven't done before. Right. I'm gonna put uh, a Chico on that one. And I'm gonna put, move the Leisure King to this one. Sorry, the Electronics King to this one. And the Leisure King to this one. Just so we have them on the uh, higher leveled ones, because I think they are better than uh, Sachiko on average. Right. Set them all out. The reason why it's still worth doing that in terms of earning money is we can still upgrade our abilities before the final thing, whatever that final thing is, so... Yeah, we might as well continue doing it. Right, I do want to do a postcard attempt per attempt at... or, or per call... um, yeah. Per club attempt. So, let's leave, go back in, and then go to do the postcard. Because this should this should definitely trigger it. I think it's because we don't actually leave this zone. It doesn't reset the um, radio. It's showtime! All right, shout out. Kazikun! Oh! <laughs> the same one again. Okay. Let's see what we got. New postcard. Um, what are we going to go for? Um, the Obatarian Assault, maybe? That sounds good. That that would definitely work. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. So, now we've done that, it's time to go back to running our club. So, um, we have unavailable, unknown. Okay. Let's Clear out. Oh, that's the wrong thing entirely. Let's clear out our cast on duty. And then put people in again. We're gonna have mana. You know what? I should maybe just put in a few of the maxed out um, ones here, because uh, we do use them. Although, you know what? I'm gonna put in Chica as well, because I think she'll be fine. Uh, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the maxed ones out for just now. Uh, Akina. Let's see. Shizuka. Miranda. Junko. And Shiho. Cool, we'll go for that one. That seems fine. Right. Um, we'll do special training, and it should be customer service too, which it is. Nice. Alright. Right. Back into it. 
<laughs> so, Mana-chan, cute girl like you probably has guys lined up around the block for a chance to date you. you must be a pro at the romance game now, huh? Hmm. Wow, now I'm really seeing why you're a number one at Club Moon. I can see through it, but for a regular customer, this is the kind of talk that pulls on the heartstrings. That's so, you had me going there. Well, if you got no past relationships, why don't you tell me what your ideal man is like? Type ka Hmm, okay. Um, I mean, say perfect answer. She says it's not a game, though. You weren't lying, or how about me? You weren't lying, can, is it kind of like a callback to, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a callback to how she said she's a lie detector. So you really haven't been in love, huh? Mm. Well, it's to be expected, isn't it? It's hard to believe a girl like you has no relationship experience. Mana-chan? So, the number of guys you dated is a big fat zero. Yeah? yeah? Didn't you just say you'd never been in love? Which is it? Which one is it? Tsukiyao well, I mean, the obvious answer here is nothing's wrong. Uh. Ain't nothing wrong with you, Mana-chan. Everyone does the love thing differently. The reason you haven't fallen for anyone yet is probably just because there ain't been any guys around worthy of the honor. Some of these are fairly difficult, but some of these are like, do you A, want to say, no, you're wrong, you're broken inside, or do you B, want to say, nah, everything's cool? It, it's like, there's a fairly obvious answer here, even if you're just being nice. <laughs> like, even if you did think that she was completely broken inside, you wouldn't say it out loud, would you? <laughs> nice, eh? うん。ああ。私ゴロ君みたいな優しい人好きになれたらよかったのにな。はいはい。えへい、ワイズがガラビトゥレイナウ。うん。さあ、イフユディフォンロブウィズサモン、ワトユティンキユディビライクマナチャ
コロウくん手伝ってね。Okay. Uh. Uh, let me think about it. Hmm.、Uh. Mm, you really love this job, don't you, Manachan? Um, 大好き。この仕事があるから、今の私がいるんだもん。Huh? The way you are now. Ah, 今のやっぱりなし。Okay. Did she used to be shy, you think? Potentially? Something like that? Anyway, we'll say okay. I、uh, didn't hear what. Uh, there you go again. You can't tease a man like that. And perfect lesson. Fantastic. <laughs> right. Another couple of levels. Seems good to me. Right. Oh, we never gave her a makeover. That's why she's not doing so well. I just realized her stats are rubbish. Yeah. Blood Moon's X number one are skills and unexpected vulnerability bewitch men. Alright, mana. Wait, what are we missing? Sexy, funny. Cute, cute, funny. So we've got two X's on cute, we've got two X's on funny. So I think that should mean that she has to be cute and funny, right? Yes, yeah, we need cute and funny. She's already cute, but we need to remove the sexy and add funny. Right. Did we get more dresses as well? No, not really. Could go with that, but that's just getting a bit weird. Let's see what we want to do here. So, we really want down sexy, up funny. We can do down sexy, up cute, I suppose. Hmm. Eat these add funny. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Chinese dress, I think, might be our ideal one here. Let's see. Let's go with.、Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm spending so much time. Let's go with that one. It's a bit shiny. That'll do. Right, hairstyle. So, currently in standard. Did we get any new ones? Don't think so. Oh, we go for the idol cut, which gets you cute and funny maxed out immediately. Okay. She kind of has this color here to start with. Yeah. Or is it that. Oh no. Let's go with that. Sure.、Uh, and now we can just add accessories to try and get beauty or sexy not to be an X. I don't really like the hat, to be honest. Okay, Tiara would push beauty up, which we don't necessarily need to do. See if we can get any of these up. Alright, so we can get beauty up with crosses. Okay, let's go with crosses. Nice. Okay. And go Tiara if we want to push beauty up some more.、Uh, we already did that one necklace. Oh my lord. No. <laughs> Alright. Leave them be.、Uh, I'm still thinking about that necklace. Also, very extreme ring. Watch.、Um, bracelet. Perfume. Sure. So、we can push beauty up to a, to a circle here with the tiara. Let me just check something here. Yeah. So we can definitely get to triple circles. So I should try and get something. Yeah, I need to maybe change the hairstyle potentially. Maybe I should be looking to get beauty up he here instead. So we got funny, cute. Maybe the dress as well. Let's see. 
Yeah, so Funny's already maxed out, so maybe I should be trying to get Beauty and Cute up here. Without lowering Funny too much. Let's see where I can go with this. Uh, none of those. I can go up to like three circles, I suppose. Leave that B for just now. Let's change the hairstyle. Um, these are kind of like the major changes, aren't they? The hairstyle ones. Um, hmm. Nah, we're not really getting where we need to here. A lot of these not cute down way too far. Well, this one's fine. The ponytail. Okay. Right, we'll leave that there. Now let's change the accessories. So a tiara would push it up, but we can also get cute up with that one. Okay. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Earrings. We really need the beauty earrings. Okay. I could lower cute here with the onyx one. Then see if there's a way of raising cute somewhere else, like cute and funny at the same time. So I can just raise cute with the flower ring. I get no negatives. Okay. Watch. Pushes beauty down. We can go with the simple watch, which will just push cute up. Okay. Now we're only after the last bit of funny. That this is just anti-fun. Okay, right. We can put the avant-garde hat on to give some funny. Do I have anything that could raise beauty? It's too stupid to wear. It's too stupid to wear. Right. Makeup doesn't improve anything, does it? No. No. Nope. Uh, I don't know. I, okay. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. So we need to knock funny up one tick. If I change the this, can I get one that just increases funny? I could, but I can get if I dove this one, then it lowers Q. Okay. Hairstyle. Oh, I got a better one. The lower beauty. Again. Mm. I'm just trying here. If we go braided. Kind of back to where we were in a while ago. Accessories. There we go. We have to wear the tiara, I think, unfortunately. It's a little bit ridiculous, but we have to wear the tiara. If we're in the tiara, I'm going to change the dress. And then it kind of blends in a little bit. That's what we're going for for mana. It looks, I'm going to be honest with you, hideous. But that's okay. Right, let's go. Or at least it's a little bit tacky, I think would be how we'd describe it. I'm just saying, look look at this. Kind of, you know, respectable, respectable, tacky, respectable. And yeah, okay. They're, like, they're, they're fine, right? But this one is just like, you got the watch, which doesn't match the ring, which doesn't match the necklace, which doesn't match the hair bat. It, it's horrible. But the stat-wise, it's pretty good. Right. And now we're going to leave that. We need to go save the game. Cool. And then next time, it might be the final episode of Yakuza 0. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.